everybody. Hi, it's Becky from Power Tools with Thread. And I am wearing <laughs> Simplicity. Oh, I'm about falling too. Uh, Simplicity 4092. This is uh, one of their costume lines. I made this several years ago. And um, uh, San Antonio is in the midst of uh, Fiesta which is a big 10 day long party celebrating our independence from Mexico. So, um, this thing uh, was something else. So, I made this, you're going to photo bomb. Yeah, of course you are. <laughs> Blue is here with me. Hi, baby. Yeah, mama loves you. Whoop. Yeah, so I made this 45 pounds ago. I wore this, I've worn this, uh, and oh, in Fiesta, there is a, a very somber parade called Pilg Pilgrimage to the Alamo. And what they do is um, everybody from the Junior League to the Scouts, uh, members of the Fiesta Commission, we all gather around the Tobin Center that used to be the, it used to be called the Municipal Auditorium. And um, in the afternoon, it starts at 4 o'clock, and we walk. It's a very somber uh, parade and we all walk uh, a one mile route and, to, and then we get in front of the Alamo and lay a wreath or flowers or something like that and so my daughters of the American Revolution chapter Susanna Dickinson chapter uh, is going to we're all gonna go and do this and some of us are wearing colonial dress so that is why I am wearing this um, I wanted to try it on and make sure it was going to fit, uh, it, and it's big, it's huge up here in the bodice especially so. Um, and you can tell I have a lot of extra fabric back here. It really needs to be up and closer. Um, but anyway, I want to show you the costume, okay? Um, I got this uh, fabric, it is uh, embroidered very nicely, beautiful fabric, it's a, it's a uh, home deck. And um, I need to pin this up. <laughs> Whoops. You know, stitches fall. So it's home deck fabric. that, And it has a beautiful sheen to it. Um, with gorgeous embroidery. And um, I got that at Hancock Fabrics years and years ago. And then for the, uh, the stomacher. That's what they called this thing. The stomacher and the skirt. I chose a tone on told gold. Again, an, uh, a home deck fabric. It's pretty long because I had originally made it to wear with a hoop. Um, but ladies back then didn't wear the hoops too much. They did wear what are called paneers. And the paneers are part... Let me show you the line drawings on the back. The paneers are part of the uh, pattern. Okay? And... So, normally you would wear them under the underskirt, but I have them on the outside so you can see them. And I just filled them with uh, plastic bags and batting, extra batting from a quilt project. They have a little hole in them so you can reach in. And you, I actually I carry my keys and my phone and all that in there. And this just goes over it. And then it is a zippered back in the back. And yes, it's way too big, but uh, I think I can swing this. I think I can pull it off. So there's the back of it. Let me step away. And here's the sides. The lace is a four inch lace from Hobby Lobby. And I could only get the lace in white. And so I dyed it with hot tea. And that's the same for the lace that's in my hair. It is the same lace. Let me walk away. It is the same lace here. And all I did was run a. Um, run a couple of lines of stitching through it, and then gathered it up to create this little thing to go over my little hair bun. <laughs> this is just some lace that also was on the spool at Hobby Lobby. Um, all together, I think this entire ensemble, oh, I don't know, 80 bucks, maybe. Um, I have had, uh, I wore it at state conference last 2018 state conference in San Antonio and I had people offer me $300 or more to make one of these for them and I declined because I don't like sewing for other people but um, the skirt has a is very 
big, very big. It was big before, it's really big now. So I kind of overlapped it several times, which gives the uh, idea of a bustle in the back. But, um, and then the shoes I'm wearing, I found these, probably famous footwear or something. They're a Bob's. But they're kind of an ivory lace, and they're super comfortable, which is what you need if you're going to be walking in downtown San Antonio during Fiesta. So, anyway, I think I will wear this tomorrow, and uh, it's kind of long. I may have to see if I can't bring this up a little bit so I don't step all over it. I'll tell you all, it's so cool. We have... Um, you know, people all along the streets, they want to take your picture, but you can't, you're not allowed to smile. Colonial ladies did not smile, and um, it wasn't cool. Most of them had bad teeth anyway. But uh, anyway, we walk. It's very quiet, very somber. And as we're walking up to the Alamo, they're reading off the names of all of our patriots who died at the Alamo over a loudspeaker. And y'all, there are congressmen there and senators and four-star generals from all, all, you know, Army and Air Force, everybody's there. It's a big, big deal. So it's kind of cool. All told, there's probably about a thousand people in that particular parade where we just walk. There's no marching bands. There's no music or anything like that. Oh, I guess I need to lose the watch. <laughs> kind of. The electronic Bluetooth watch kind of ruins the effect, doesn't it? But anyway, again, so this is Simplicity 4092. And um, if, uh, if you are thinking about doing this, uh, you need to start probably about two months in advance, okay? I will talk to you guys later. Have a great rest of your weekend, what's left of it.